less than 10 years ago, the only way to get aerial shots like these would be costly and could only be captured by using an airplane or helicopter with specialized equipment. The city of Las Vegas formed a drone committee to come up with policies, procedures, and to train employees to pass the FAA 107 pilot certification. Weekly meetings and training help the pilots deal with updates to the drone laws and gain hours of experience flying the drones. A pilot must follow strict FAA rules while flying a drone, also known as an unmanned aerial vehicle, or UAV. These FAA guidelines include strict regulations when flying five miles from an airport, flying below 400 feet when in unrestricted airspace, restrictions on flying over people or vehicles for the safety of the public. That is just naming a few of the rules that the pilot must know and follow. The drone program has many uses. It can be used for video production purposes, mapping, surveying, inspections, and public safety. At KCLV TV in our social media department, we use the drone footage to help show areas under development, promote parts of the city, and educate people on what services are available in the city. By using programs like PIX4D, departments like Public Works can map areas using the drone. By using their software, the drone can be programmed to follow an automated flight pattern and photograph multiple photos and different angles. Once this data is entered into the program and processed, a 3D file is created that can be used for mapping and surveying. This same software can be used to document crime scenes and car accidents. The 3D image can be revisited in the software to search for more evidence and help present the case to courts in a new way. Our larger drone can be outfitted with an infrared camera that can be used to help with search and rescue. It can cover a large area quickly to help a team find someone in a remote area of the desert by showing the heat coming off of their bodies. When it comes to flying the drone, there are many hazards to consider. To mitigate any issues, our team must go through specific procedures at every flight. Pre-flight, there are weather checks, a temporary flight restriction check, checking a UAS map for any restrictions and to find out if any approvals are needed before the flight. Before we fly, we do a quick check of all the controls and a quick landing check. All right, looks like he's good to go. The drone uses a GPS system that helps the pilot while flying. It automatically adjusts for the wind and helps to keep the drone stable and easier to control. By using the joystick, the pilot can fly in any direction and rotate side to side, but can also just hover in one spot. Part of the pilot training is to learn to fly without GPS so that if the system fails, the pilot can still gain control and land the drone safely. Getting the right angle and creating a cinematic video takes practice, but it's worth the extra time to get these kind of shots. But safety is our first concern. Getting the perfect shot is challenging, but it's more important to fly safely and be aware of the surroundings at all times. The shots we are able to get with drones are amazing. With an aerial of our downtown, we are able to get a better understanding of what is happening in the city we are better equipped to show the redevelopment of the downtown. We can also show the beauty of our parks and highlight the amenities. There is a constant need for more drone missions because of the constant changes happening in our growing city. The beauty and the access we have at these heights with drones takes our videos to a whole new level, literally. Literally.